multiple types of programs, so lengths of programs. We do offer a two-year Associates of Fine Arts program that's held at our Los Angeles campus. And those are, if you're unfamiliar with the US higher education, after you have graduated from high school, you can choose to take a two-year Associates of Fine Arts or a Bachelor of Fine Arts. It goes Associates, Bachelors, Master's degrees. At New York Film Academy, the Bachelor of Fine Arts is an accelerated three-year program, but you can choose to take it in four years. We also have just introduced a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Entertainment Media, which is different than all of our other bachelor's degrees in that you can start the program without having a major and you can take short-term programs within the program. So you can do four weeks of producing, four weeks of screenwriting, four weeks of filmmaking, discover what you do really want to study, and then you can declare a major. So the entertainment media program is going to be different than all the other bachelors in that you can pick and choose which program to take before declaring a major. We also have a Bachelor of Arts in Media Studies, and then we offer a two-year Master of Fine Arts, which is um, the highest level of education that you can get in these disciplines. Uh, there are no PhDs in screenwriting. <laughs> the master's degree is the highest that you can get. It is a terminal degree. And these are what are needed if you choose to become a teacher. We also have a one-year Master of Arts in Film and Media Production, as well as producing. From there, along with our bachelor or our degree programs, we do offer one and two-year conservatory programs. And those are just hyper-focused programs on one subject. So it's only filmmaking or only acting. You don't have the liberal arts classes that come along with a degree program. So conservatory programs are very, very popular for artists because they really only want to study what their, their discipline is. You don't really need calculus <laughs> to become a filmmaker. So conservatory programs are quite popular within the artistic community. We do also offer adult short-term workshops of four, six, or eight weeks where you can come sort of test the waters, see if this is what you wanna do. Again, it is a very intensive program. You're in class Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., sometimes 10 p.m., and then you're shooting on nights and weekends. It is our job to train you to be prepared, be professional on a film set, so you can walk out of New York Film Academy onto a film set and understand what it really is. This There is no nine to five job in this industry. When I was on set, a 12 to 14 hour day was a standard day. So the short-term workshops are a good way to make sure that this is the right school for you, that you like living in the United States, and then you can easily extend your program. So if you go from the short-term workshops into either a one-year or a degree program, we will take the cost of that short-term workshop off of the tuition for the long-term program. So you essentially get that one or two months for free. Uh, we do also offer online programs that obviously came out of the COVID pandemic. Um, online programs are offered in pretty much all of our disciplines, uh, most heavily in the screenwriting discipline, but there are options for online programs for adults. And then if you are still in high school or if you have not yet graduated from high school, we do offer kids and teens summer programs in June, July, and August, as well as January. So the kids and teens summer camps are a great way to come, make sure this is something that you do really want to do, but also to start building a professional portfolio so that when you are um, applying for schools, you have a professional portfolio to present. Um, as Richard had explained earlier, we do have multiple locations throughout the United States as well as the world. Um, we are the New York Film Academy. <laughs> we were founded in New York City 
This is our school. It's located at the very southern tip of Manhattan. We overlook the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island. It's absolutely beautiful. And students will shoot on the streets of New York City here in, here in New York. Um, it's very much a location-based shoot. You're learning how to shoot on location. You're learning how to get permits. So that's how you shoot in New York City. Our largest campus is actually located in LA. Um, we are located right in downtown Burbank in between Universal and Warner Brothers Studios. And you actually get to see the Warner Brothers um, water tower from your classroom. So it's very exciting. And the Los Angeles campus shoots on location as well as um, on the back lot of Universal Studios. And we're the only film school in the world in which gets to shoot on the back lot of Universal Studios. So we're very, very proud of that. We do also have a location um, in South Beach, Miami, Florida, right on Lincoln Road, which is the main road in South Beach. It's a very, as you can see, an art deco building. It's about, I think it's like three or four blocks from the beach. Absolutely beautiful. And we actually have full permits to shoot anywhere within the city of Miami. So there are three options in the United States and we do offer something called a bi-coastal experience where you can start your degree in New York, transfer out to Los Angeles. You could start in Los Angeles. You could transfer to South Beach. You could start in South Beach and go to New York. There's a lot of different options. And so it's very rare to have one school that you can start in one location and transfer to another location and learn location shooting in New York City and backlot shooting in Los Angeles. So that's a very popular option for our students, the bi-coastal experience to study in two different cities. We do also have a location in Florence, Italy that offers short-term workshops as well as semester programs. Student, students shoot um, in and around the streets of Florence, which is probably one of the top five most beautiful cities in the world.